So we founded in the last five years a span where the Sackler family and Purdue Pharma have faced increasing criticism over their roles in the opioid crisis. Um, Sackler Family Foundations have given about $60 million, more than that, to about 24 universities in the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Israel. Um, a lot of that funding has gone toward um, research programs, specifically medical science research, and also arts programs. Um, some schools say that they have no plans to, to give any of that money back or, or reject it in the future. A few said that they no longer will accept money from the Sackler family. And lots of schools just simply refused to say what their plans were. No school said that they would actually return money to the Sackler family. Um, one school, Brown University, said that it would redirect some unspent money that it received from the family to nonprofits in Rhode Island that help treat opioid addiction. Um, there are some challenges to returning money. Um, even, if some, even if schools wanted to return money to the Sackler family, there are legal obstacles and tax problems that can arise if you try to do that. You know, this is a big story because there's been so much attention on the Sackler family recently and where it has directed its money, especially as Purdue Pharma now works to settle um, hundreds of lawsuits accusing it for worsening the opioid crisis. And so some critics are looking at this and they say that schools should not be accepting money, should not have accepted money from the Sackler family because that money could go to cities and states that have been harmed by the opioid crisis.